Hello and welcome to this demonstration. I'm Nigel Griffiths from the Advanced Technology Centre in the UK. We're going to be taking a few minutes to look at something new with AIX6. Officially it's called the IBM System Director Console, but most technical people call it the P Console. Hi there, so let's have a quick look at um, P Console. Let's just check to see if uh, it's actually installed first of all. Okay, there it is. There's the runtime environment, so we're okay there. Let's just see if the subsystem is running. Nope, at the moment it's in operative, so let's start it up. Okay, it's all active. Now we can go and uh, take our web browser and go and have a look at it. Let's look at the web browser side of things. I forgot to put the port number in. It's 5336. There we go, nice and quick. Now we need to log in. I'm using the uh, root user. Let's remember the password so I don't have to bother next time. And here we go with the welcome page. Now, of course, with P Console, this is the uh, replacement, I guess, for WebSM, where we only need a browser on our workstation to actually get access to the uh, AIX machines these days. We don't have to install WebSM on our machine, but um, we'll actually find that uh, P Console is quite a lot faster. One nice feature is here we can click on health and uh, as it pops up in the next couple of seconds we can see the health of our machine immediately which gives us a, a good feeling about what's going on. Here we are looking at the physical memory. I've just restarted this machine so as you can see most of the machine's memory is free. We have four CPUs and we can see that we're mostly idle at the moment. Here's the top processes down here, nothing particularly interesting in this case, it's just been restarted, and here's the file systems. And we can look along here and see there's not much free in the slash var file system. Perhaps we should uh, go and correct that in a minute. Here we can see on the left the list of uh, things that we can usually do with SMIT or WebSM. There's a few extra things for the things like role-based role access control and uh, workload partitions. But let's take uh, storage and file systems. Let's go and adjust that uh, file system. We're using JFS2. That's the uh, advanced. Now we're going to change it slash var. There we are. So let's work in uh, megabytes and uh, we'll try and add 16 megabytes. Here's the old running man, but oh dear, we've got a failure here. Must have done something wrong. Oh yes, I can see. I was trying to set it to 16 megabytes. I want to make it just a bit bigger. There we go. We have a success. Have a little look here at the uh, workload partitions. We can manage those from the uh, P console. And all the regular things we can do with WebSM and Smitty. 
Oh, we hope that's been useful. That's all for now.